Okay, here's something a bit different. This is my monster case of boss pedals, effects pedals. I've been collecting boss effects pedals particularly for about 30 years or more. I uh, started out with a DS1 distortion and a phaser and a flanger and a delay, DM1 delay. Uh, very similar to what Cozy was using on her guitar, but I've always used them on my synths as well. And uh, developed sort of quite a fetish for boss pedals in particular. And uh, all through the 80s, took them on tour, run my Casio synth through them to beef up the sound a bit. But uh, by the 90s, it sort of died off a bit and I uh, just started buying them for, the, for studio use mostly. And Cozy went over to the GT series of multi effects that Boss made and she went away from the individual pedals. But uh, we, we built up quite a lot of pedals in the cupboard, <laughs> the pedals cupboard, and I'd often be dipping in there for, when we were in the studio to pull out a pedal to put it, put something through it, uh, synth or guitar or anything really. Uh, but then about 12 years ago it occurred to me maybe I should put them into a pedal board of some kind and make like an instrument of them. So I got the biggest flight case I could that was for pedals, effects pedals. And this, I still couldn't fit all the pedals in this case even though this is the biggest one I could find. I have a few loose pedals that are separate um, and I have a load in the cupboard as well. And I mounted them all on this Velcro. So they're all fixed in place. In fact, this configuration I've had for about 10 years, just like unchanged. And I've done a lot of recording with it. A lot of different tracks. This, uh, this appears on the new album, Chemistry Lessons Volume 1. And in fact, one of the first tracks I did for the album that appears on the album had sounds from this pedal board. It's funny because I looked on Vimeo the other day because uh, I did a radiophonic tribute years ago using this board and it's had 66,000 plays so I guess people must like experimental stuff as well. I was quite impressed with that. So, uh, but after I'd used this for a few years and used it a lot, it did get frustrating because this is the opposite. This arrangement, this configuration is the opposite of what a modular system is. You cannot repatch this or reconfigure it because it's all fixed in place. There's no way to access the inputs and outputs because they're already pre-patched. On the inputs to these loopers, I can put these before those and whatever I record can go through other pedals. But once they're in the, these loopers, which are the primary source input source, this configuration can't be changed. And it's quite experimental. I, I do like the sound I get from this. This is one channel that feeds into the mixer. This is another channel and this is a third channel. And I used to do live looping by feeding things like this shortwave radio or small handheld synths into these loopers, looping something and then feeding them through these effects, which we have pitch change, EQ, phase, chorus, tremolo pan and digital delay, and then a similar setup here, but with reverb and a dynamic filter. And then this is for longer pads. This is a looper that does much longer loops and a delay that does sound on sound and this is a chorus unit. That's the first channel looping. When I turned it on, I haven't used this for a couple of years, when I turned it on uh, it still had the uh, loops and I was using the last time I used it. That's the second channel. Because it's configured like this, I think I've got the most out of it. I think I've used its potential to the max. And now I'm thinking maybe I should disassemble it. Because uh, looking on eBay recently, I saw that some of these pedals are quite rare and sought after. These tremolo pan pedals, the dynamic filter, the metalizer, I love the metalizer. Parametric EQ. I'm thinking maybe I could sell this and repurpose the uh, the money I get into another project. What should I do? I think before I do sell it, if I do sell it, I'll do a few more tracks with it. Because now I've turned it on after a few years, I've sort of rediscovered things that I'd forgotten about, sounds that it can do.
work that I like. Yeah, it's uh, decision time. Not sure what to do. 